Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So today I'm recording a video to show you guys just how to install an SSD into your PC. Now mind you, maybe you only have mechanical hard drives. Those old hard drives that spin up to read data and then you have a little, little head reading all the data. It takes a long time. Or maybe you have an older SSD, not quite as fast as this guy. This is the Western Digital the blue drive, the 500 gig drive. So I'm gonna show you now how to install it. Now, in this particular case, you don't see any hard drives back here. Don't worry, this is my PC, so there are hard drives, but they're actually back here. So I'm gonna show you how to install the SSDs back in here in one of the trays. Now mind you, since it is an SSD, there are no moving parts. Um, it doesn't generate much, if any, heat. So you can pretty much put it anywhere and you don't have to worry too much about heat and you don't have to worry about just the particular angle you hang it at or, or, or lay it down on. It's an SSD, it doesn't matter. You can have it doing this all day long inside of a PC or doing this. It's gonna work just the same. Since there are no mechanical, there are no moving parts, you can do this without fear of a needle hitting a head, I'm sorry, a needle hitting a disc or a head hitting a disc, scratching the disc, you losing all your data. Again, you can have it doing this all day long and nothing's gonna happen to it. Now mind you, you don't wanna be slamming it, but aside from that, anyway, let's get in here real quick and I'll show you how to install it. All right guys, so again, just going to show you how to install the Western Digital WD Blue 500 gig SATA drive, in particular the WDS 500G1B0A. All right, so in this particular case, I'm just gonna put this down for right now. In this particular case, we're gonna go ahead and install it in the back. All right, so it's gonna go on one of these little sleds. Now, mind you, we do have some mechanical drives down here which do have their own base. You could always install it in there as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install it on an actual bay made for an SSD, a 2.5 inch drive. Okay, so I'm just unscrewing that drive. All right, and here is the sled itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this right in here. Now on the side of the sled, we have these little holes here. These are meant to screw in the SSD. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. That way it doesn't slide out when I install it into the PC itself. Do it by hand first, I recommend. At least get the first part in by hand. That way screwing it in is just that much easier. Okay, and now we'll do the other side. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and install the SATA power connection. Now mind you, you might have a few of these laying around and let me zoom in so you can see what they look like. All right, so these are the SATA power connections. All right, and they're going to go installed right here. Now you want to make sure there is a little L right here, you can see that right there. And there is also a little L on the SATA power connection. Okay, you can see that right here. All right, so now you wanna make sure that you connect them all in the same spot 
that way you don't break the, the little connection on the SSD. So right here, just push it together. All right, and again, I'm gonna take it apart. And that way I'm matching the L to L over here, the little angle, just pushing it together. Goes in really simple, really easy. And now the last piece of the puzzle is the actual SATA connection. All right, much like the SATA power, there is a little L here. And right over here on the connection on the SSD, there is an L as well. And we just push it together. Most times you'll hear a click. Not all SATA cables have this little metal bracket here that kind of clicks things in place. That's okay if you don't have it. But when you're done, again, on this particular drive, uh, case, sorry, every single case is gonna have its own method. Kind of just slide it in place and that's it, it's installed. So now we've installed the SSD into a case, into a computer. Now, the other part is to install Windows or Linux or any operating system onto here. On my next video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, you may have another Western Digital SSD. You may want this one just as a storage drive. In that case, you would just mark it as a DEFG drive, and then you can just always store data on there as well. But in this particular case, I'm going to use it as a main boot drive. So I'm gonna show you guys how I install Windows 10 on there. All right guys, so again, this is Iggy showing you, with Dragon Blogger, showing you how to install the WD Blue, the Western Digital WD Blue solid state drive, model number WDS500G1B0A. As always, please click like and subscribe below. And if there's any additional comments, you can read them in my description as well. Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you guys.